have come out of springtime and are now uh, full blast heading into summer with the passing of uh, uh, the uh, Memorial Day weekend. And uh, there's a lot going on in our area. There's a lot going on uh, just to our north, as a matter of fact. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that right now uh, with the proprietor, uh, Chris Weld of Berkshire Mountain Distillers. Chris, uh, thanks for joining us today. Marshall, thanks so much for having me. Uh, we're going to get to uh, talking about uh, your anniversary and, uh, and and a great program that you've got coming up about cocktails uh, coming up in a few minutes. But before that, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, how you've uh, uh, gone on with this Berkshire Busk uh, uh, idea that is going on uh, in Great Barrington around there. You do uh, you have Berkshire Busk Roadside, and that is live music uh, on Saturdays throughout the summer. So it's I want to open up and talk a little bit about that because uh, what's, we'll start. Might, we might as well start off with this weekend and the idea of your Berkshire Busk uh, roadside uh, live music. Sure, you know I think uh, Berkshire Bus had its debut last summer in Great Barrington, and I was a sort of roadside participant, uh, an armchair voyeur with it, and it was just a really neat thing to see in the small town of Great Barrington. So Fridays and Saturdays people busking, you know, playing live music on the street. And I just think it really changed sort of the tenor of, of the town during that those periods and just made it much more vibrant. So wonderful addition, um, brought some new life to Great Barrington. And we were talking with the folks from Berkshire Busk about, you know, the possibilities of maybe expanding and doing a test program where we would have an off-site one that we would host here at the distillery. Um and just do some co-marketing and collaborations. And uh, so they were game. So we basically, uh, through, I believe it's uh, Labor Day weekend, we'll have live music here every Saturday at the distillery in the afternoons, 2.30 to 4.30-ish, rain or shine. Uh, last weekend, unfortunately, was pouring, but we had it inside, and it was fantastic. And so they um, curate uh the musicians and they provide them to us on saturdays and and so they will play down here uh we'll have light food and cocktails and you know i just think it really helps to build a wonderful atmosphere down here in sheffield and at the distillery um i think as we've talked about on past shows there's been a pretty significant change in traffic through the virtual whether it's from tourism or COVID or just, you know, the Berkshires have kind of hit that tipping point, but we're finding more and more people coming through. And we've put in a lot of effort recently in the last year and a half or so to sort of expand our outdoor seating. And we've put in a cocktail bar and hired a person to run a cocktail program on the weekends. And I think just to have live music available is a wonderful addition to the program. Now, this this on Saturday, uh, it runs from uh, 2.30 to 4.30, right? The, the music is 2.30 to 4.30. We will be open till about 6 on Saturdays, but the live music is 2.30 to 4.30-ish. I think last Saturday they might have uh, talked to the person playing a little bit longer. Uh, everyone just loved them. Now, is this, is this a, a free program that, that people can come uh, and attend? It's a free, yep, free program. Um, and, you know, the buskers uh, obviously appreciate tips. Um, we are the formal sponsors of uh, Berkshire Busk. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's no, no admission charge here. And as always, complimentary tastings at the distillery. All right, so uh, so this now this uh, you know we've already talked about this Saturday, uh, but it's every Saturday through Memorial Day. Now, uh, another summer long celebration that you're having inv- involves cocktails and stuff like that. Let's talk a little bit about that. Seems like everything involves cocktails here at the <laughs> distillery. Uh, apropos, I think so. Uh, Angel Cardinale, who heads up marketing for us here, had a wonderful idea and pitched a program that we ended up calling the Cultural Cocktail Program. And so we're running uh, cultural cocktails, as you mentioned, through kind of early fall. And basically it's, it's a way to pay tribute to the cultural institutions of the Berkshires and all programs sort of run under the gamut of a rising tide floats all boats. So we have... Uh, 15 of the, you know, great cultural institutions, and, and as always, you mentioned a couple, and I can't mention them all, but 
Masmoka, Shakespeare and Co., The Clark. Um, so there's just a whole bunch of them. And then we have created, with local bartenders, cocktails that uh, will honor one of those institutions, and they are named appropriately for the institution. And then to sort of uh, spread the word and, and join in the celebrations, those cocktails will be served at a bunch of bars and restaurants in Berkshire County and beyond. And um, so I believe there's a list on the Cultural Cocktails website. Uh, again, if I start naming them, I always skip a few. But, you know, many of the big players in Berkshire County, most of the big players in Berkshire County are involved in it. And so it's just a great way to bring support. And obviously in a small uh, community, we're all relying on each other. For business, and so the restaurants and bars um, help support the patrons of these cultural institutions, and the cultural institutions, uh, you know, get people who have eaten at the restaurant and bars come by. So <clears throat> I would say that Napa would not be Napa with one winery. So the fact that we have so many wonderful cultural options here in the Butchers and so many wonderful food and beverage establishments to work with, uh, you know, we're just super fortunate to have that. It, you know, between uh, both these things, uh, which uh, which uh, are the cocktails which uh, which celebrate um, uh, the local institutions and also uh, the Berkshire Busk, it's a real important factor, I think, especially uh, going into this summer and continuing the summer to recover from the past couple of years, which has been uh, very hard and very trying uh, on just about every type of business in in South County, and and I think this is a great way that businesses can. Work Work together uh, to bring more, bring the people back and 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 out and, and support these these local businesses. Certainly, and by all rights, uh, everything's pointing to the fact that this is going to be a, a wonderful summer for entertainment and for the restaurant industry. And yes, we do have a couple years to recoup from. The restaurants are are full and doing well now, and summer's just kicking off. And already, you know, last weekend was one of the crazier weekends we've had here. So um, I think uh, it's good bellwether as, you know, as far as an indication of what the summer's going to turn out to be. And if people want more information on, on what you're doing, they can go to your website, right? So on the Berkshire Mansion Distillers website, there's a landing page for the Cultural Cocktails Program. You can find out where you can get one of the cocktails. We are also featuring them here at the distillery, and it also discusses some other stuff on our 15th year anniversary, uh, as well as the Berkshire Busk. And I think if you, I believe if you hit the Berkshire Busk website, they may have a schedule that includes us as well. Absolutely. So, so we've talked about a couple of things. Uh, it, it, it sounds to me like you've got a pretty full schedule. But uh, anything else that I should know about about your about your anniversary? I'll call it your anniversary summer. Just busy. We're we're looking forward to it. We put in a new farm stand, so we're actually going to have a bit more of a farm stand. It will be focused uh, a lot on cocktail centric herbs and botanicals, but we'll have some traditional farm fare as well. Um, and we have a new pavilion outside. We're in cahoots with uh, Robbie from Roberto's Pizza in Sheffield to do some pizzas down here as a portable oven um, and working with some food to go with Marketplace. So I think in general, we're, we've never seriously committed to a cocktail program here before, but uh, the idea is that people can come in, grab a, a light uh, snack, have a cocktail, and then head off to one of our wonderful restaurants in the area. All right. Well, it's uh, going to be an interesting summer. And, Chris, I, it seems like uh, Berkshire Mountain Distill is, is always in the center of it, and uh, you do a great job in marketing and reaching out to people. Well, thanks so much for having us.